Good morning. Good morning. So good. So I'm having such a great time. I have a new friend and he noticed that I have a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> there was no doubt where I came from. So let me let him introduce himself. My name is Robert Hubbs from Profit Growth Group at ProfitGrowthGroup.com. Great. So where are you living now? Well, I, I think I live on the road a little too much, but I live in uh, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. One of my most favorite places, as all you know, so there's a shout out to all the Sutina Nation. Oh, you do know it. Right on. Cheers to that. And so I heard her in the uh, lineup this morning. We were just neighbors in the line. And uh, I, I picked out the accent. She says, I live in J New Jersey. And I'm like, eh, no, you do not live in New Jersey. You may live in New Jersey, but you don't live in New Jersey. And, and I, of course, don't have any accent at all. Ha, ha, ha. A. <laughs> hey, exactly. So I said, well, you could take me out of Brooklyn, which obviously, you know, I travel so much. But you can't take the Brooklyn out of me. Um, I'm very loyal to Brooklyn. And what I want to talk about is how to use your accent to benefit you the most if you want to just remain who you are instead of trying to change. I went for accent decreasing lessons <laughs> and it didn't work that well because I like to put an R after the A on any word that ends in an A. I feel that it needs an R and an ER to me ends in A. So. We were talking about southern accent, so do your little southern accent. Oh, well, southern where, though? I mean, there's, there's so many accents we can do. You would, you would talk like deep south Mississippi? Oh. Well, it depends on, I got friends like, from uh, Georgia, I got friends from Alabama. They all, they all talk real nice, but you gotta not be in a hurry. And I'm too much in a hurry. After the third sentence, I was like, spit it up, spit it out already. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm impatient. I have no, pr I have n trouble with like waiting. So, do you think that an accent makes you seem smarter? Uh, it uh, depends on the accent, doesn't it? Uh, some of them, uh, you sound really great. I mean, this one, for instance, you can tell uh, it's not from New Jersey. Uh, and my family, going way back, is Scottish. I never knew any of them, but I figured I at least ought to do justice and honor them. So. Does it make you sound smarter? Well, Some people say Scott that that accent was Scottish. Yes. Yes. So do an English accent. What from where though? Because it it matters a lot where you're talking about it from. Because some a, a high-born Englishman would not speak like not what a low-born. He's, he's talking us all fast. And you can't understand him. And and honestly, it, it it's never. People always say, oh well, it's disrespectful. If you spend enough time around people and you genuinely listen to them, you get really connected to them, you spend time with them, you'll start to speak like them. And it's great. It doesn't, it's not that it makes you smarter or some people say you don't sound as smart depending on your accent. I think that when you spend enough time with people, you start to pick up things from them. And isn't that wonderful? It's, it's awesome because you, you get ideas from them, you get the way they do things, you get the flavor. Like when I travel, I like to spend enough time in the place that I get a feel for the culture, the people where they come from, what they do, and picking up the language. I mean, that's that's all part of it. If you went to France, you'd want to speak enough French to get around. And you kind of have to, because it's like that. But that's a different issue. But anywhere you went, you'd want to be there enough. You want to pick up enough that you can you can get around. You can kind of be there. So why not an accent? It's, it's no different. It's like its own little language. It's got all the little nuances and all the subtleties. It's great. So I speak Spanish with a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> I speak everything with a Brooklyn accent. And even though I love people and they could connect to me, I'm very social. There is that part of my brain, there's a disconnect. I don't think no matter how long I spent in the UK or if I spent time in Louisiana or Mexico, this is what you see is what you get. And I feel like my message today is Embrace your accent because there are some people like him that can change it. People like me, not. My tongue goes the way my tongue goes. My teeth go the way that my teeth go. My breathing is the way my breathing goes. I have the pattern. I'm keeping that pattern because you know what? You can take the girl out of Brooklyn, but you can't take the Brooklyn out of the girl. <laughs> have a really fabulous day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. 
see you tomorrow. Wait, let me say hi. Hi, Joy. Hi, Paige. Hi, Ronnie. Hi, Barry. Hi, David. So good to see you. I'll see you again. Hi, Tina. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.